Bill Barr decided that um, there was really no way to salvage this Trump thing. I, I have a feeling that to a certain extent, um, he, he got worried that this was starting to become a problem with Georgia. Um, because this is also time where Kelly Leffler is apparently just uh, gone nuts on uh, a Raphael Warnock in terms of like uh, accusations and whatnot. Uh, well, Warnock I think, has a better chance. Indeed. Even than Ossoff. Warnock is more formidable and someone to look out for, even though he doesn't have the name recognition online as much. That's right. Uh, Ossoff, of course, you know, was, I think, more well known because of his run mm -hmm. in that special election uh, three or four years ago. Um, here is how Fox evolved over the course of the day when it came to the question of, of Bill Barr um, announcing that the DOJ has no evidence of any type of fraud. And apparently he had spoken to the Department of Homeland Security. They had no evidence. Here's Andrew McCarthy on, uh, on Fox News with Dana Perino. And so far we haven't seen anything to substantiate that. Um, as I just getting this breaking news uh, I, that caught my eye. So let me turn it over to you for some reaction. Well, I think, Dana, this is kind of a common sense assertion by the attorney general, if you think about it, because, you know, the Trump campaign had federal lawsuits that they brought in both Pennsylvania and, and Michigan and dropped them. And in connection with the Pennsylvania suit, they expressly told the federal judge that they were not alleging fraud uh, and actually pulled the fraud counts out. Um, and I, I just point that out because it's much harder to make a criminal election fraud case than it is to make a civil election fraud case. Oh. So if they're unable to, to prove this up in, in a civil court, I don't know why anyone would be surprised that there's no evidence, at least at the moment, uh, for a criminal case. You would think that they would have made more progress on the civil side uh, if they had that kind of compelling evidence. And the attorney general did take yeah, a step. I think it was. It there it is. Now, let's see how this evolved by end of day, a right. couple hours later on Fox Business News with Lou Dobbs. Good evening, everybody. President Trump, his legal team, members of the Republican Party making advances today in the battle for the White House. There have been significant developments in six key battleground states, all of which, Not really. all of which bolster President Trump's charge that there has been clear electoral fraud, fraud that nullified the will of the people in the November election. The president's progress puts him at odds with the insidious rhinos, radical Dems, corporate America, big tech and the deep state who have tried to overthrow his presidency for more than four years. Today, a member of his own cabinet appeared to join in with the radical Dems and the deep state and the resistance. Attorney General William Barr, who has been absent <laughs> for weeks and weeks, telling the Associated Press that the U.S. attorneys and FBI agents who have followed up on complaints of specific voter fraud across the country have produced nothing. To date, we have not seen fraud on a scale, he said, that could have affected a different outcome in the election. For the Attorney General of the United States to make that statement, he is either a liar or a fool or both. He may be uh, perhaps compromised. He may be simply unprincipled. Or he may be personally distraught or ill. But in no way can he honestly stand up before the American people and say that the FBI has, with any integrity or intensity, investigated voter fraud in this country and then say it did not amount to anything. Because what we are hearing just from the eyewitnesses in state legislative hearings, forget all of the rest. Those eyewitnesses in state legislative hearings across the country tell the truth. And it's a story of election fraud. Elections rigged to truth. deny the will of the majority in this country. And we will be taking that up here tonight. There you go. What do we even say? There you go. Um, the, the, the Bill Barr is distraught, ill, compromised. And joining with the demo insidious rhino um 
of course, in these states that he's talking about, they have certified the votes. They've certified the election. In some of those instances, you're talking about Republican officials who have certified it. It is it is the entire world against Donald Trump. And you would only think that Donald Trump would take in uh, more than just 25 percent of that hundred and seventy million dollars that he has raised, probably closer to 200 million at this point and put all of it towards maintaining the will of the American public. But, you know, you got to put some away. Too, He's got later. some debt. All right. Uh, and that's it for us today. We will see you tomorrow. Unless, of course, you're sticking around for the fun half of the show. Woohoo! And, um, and when you do, uh, well, you're going to hear us. We've got a lot more uh, sound to go through, a lot more stories. I want to talk about uh, Section 232, which um, is Donald Trump is using... It's Section 230. Well, we'll talk about this in the fun half, but Section 230 is the um, part of the Digital Millennium Act, I think it is, that basically says websites are are platforms as opposed to publishers. Mm -hmm. And so if commenters or if you're a YouTube you know, um, if uh, someone uploads it to YouTube or someone comments in a YouTube thing and they um, libel somebody or in a YouTube uh, show, I guess slander uh, somebody, that YouTube is not responsible. Or if somebody goes to uh, majority.fm uh, and uh, was to leave comments that were slanderous, or I should say libel, I guess, uh, they would be writing them, um, that, I, that I wouldn't be responsible. Um, it's a, uh, in, in broad strokes, I am in favor of that, but there are, I think there, it needs some tweaks because I do think it is a problem. And I think uh, it has that immunity and that ability to classify themselves as platform versus a publisher has allowed them, some of these companies to amass an enormous amount of influence mm -hmm. and wealth and power um that it also results in misinformation it also results in misinformation i'm not sure we can ever stop uh uh misinformation mm -hmm. we've always had it the problem with it now is its ability to overpower other information exactly and uh you know like alex jones has been around for 25 years at least and so we will um we will we will talk more about that in the fun half among other things